Hi, Jack. Welcome back. Vlad, how are you? It's good to see you again. I'm great. Good to see you too. Thank you for making time for us here today. Hey, listen, I, I think we are creating or witnessing the birth of a new tradition here. The last time you were here, you told us a new future with becoming recurring tasks. And today you are here to show us how this feature works. Maybe you can also tell us something for the future by okay. the end of the video. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so I promised this one, Vlad, the last time we talked, I promised you this would be coming and I'm delivering on the promise or the team is delivering on the promise. So yeah, when we released Tasks last year, this was uh, uh, like within days after releasing it, we just started getting request after request after request for recurring tasks. Uh, so it wasn't hard to see that this was a big need for users, uh, and we started investing in it uh, right away. So it's been our number one priority for a long time. It's actually uh, a fairly complicated feature to build. It's a lot of engineering work, uh, but hopefully uh, that's all kind of under the surface, and it's really smooth and simple and easy for our for users to use. Uh, we think it is, but uh, I look forward to, to to showing the folks here today. The way I think about recurring tasks and the reason I think they're so valuable to users is they are the kind of things that you are most likely to forget. So they're the kind of things where you really, really need a task manager to help you out. So it's everybody can, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you think of that like one big project you're working on, the thing I must get done. It's sort of obvious it's staring you in the face. Um, that's not necessarily what recurring tasks are. Recurring tasks often tend to be those sort of more mundane things that aren't necessarily top of mind, but you still have to get them done. Uh, uh, but they're much, much more easy to forget. So uh, some of the examples that I'll be showing about of recurring tasks are actually, like I said, very mundane, you know, simple day-to-day -day life things. Uh, but like I said, those are still very important uh, and areas where you need a lot of help. Um, so with recurring tasks, um, the I, I, I actually like that, that what you said, I never thought of it like that. It's, it's yeah. an interesting analysis. I, I liked it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I might be speaking from my own experience, uh, as someone who's trying to juggle a million things, but, but, uh, a lot of people have told me that that's the case for them as well. So, um, I think with recurring tasks, the other thing is you need a lot of flexibility, uh, uh, you know, you're often doing things on regular schedules, but different tasks can have totally one, one set of things you have to get done can have a totally different schedule from another set of things you have to get done. So we really focused on building that flexibility, uh, to have all kinds of different recurrent schedules into the project, into the, into the feature. Um, so let me start by just showing you how you set, uh, a recurrent schedule for, uh, for an individual task. So let's take this one, take medication. Um, I think for a lot of these people, a lot of people, this would be like a daily task. So I'm going to click on the task. Uh, I'm going to click into the due date affordance. Okay. So we think of recurring tasks basically as a single task with a lot of due dates. So the way you access the recurrence feature uh, is through the due date modal. Uh, so when you, when you open it up, you'll see this little thing down here. Uh, which is where you can go ahead and set a recurrent schedule. Uh, so you see right out of the gate, you get a ton of different options. For this one, I'm just going to pick daily, uh, and I'm going to set the time for every day at 10 p.m., take my medication, done. Uh, and now I've got a, a daily recurring task, uh, uh, and I'm going to get an automatic reminder at the due time, and there it is. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's a daily task. Um, so so yeah. that, that reminder, is it's not like, like the traditional tasks that, or yeah. do you? I, I, I don't know. Oh, you have it set to, well, you, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I'm a big user of default reminders, okay. so I don't have to actually pro proactively remember to set okay. a reminder. I thought the recurring tasks were different. So you it's the same, you, you just have that settings exactly. on, okay. Yes, I have that setting on. I think it's a great setting. I hope people, uh, people take advantage of it. It's just one less thing you have to remember to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that's an example of a, of a daily task. Um, let me show you another schedule you can do. So uh, one thing I try to do uh, during the work week is every day, think of the one big thing I'm going to get done today. Uh, so every morning, I try to literally think of that one big thing and write it down on a piece of paper. So 
that's another thing I'll have as a recurring task, but it's not a daily task because I don't do it on the weekends. It's an every weekday task. So again, I can go in and I can pick every weekday if I want. So I'm going to say every weekday, uh, starting next Monday at 8.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., I am going to set my one big thing that I'm going to do today. So now I've got that. The next due date is Monday, um, but the schedule is going to be every single, every weekday. Uh, let's talk about a different schedule, taking the trash out. This is like the canonical <laughs> weekly task. Uh, so, and it's also the thing, I don't know about you, Vlad, that is like so easy to forget. And I don't know how many times I've woken up in a panic and hearing the garbage truck go down the street because I forgot to do it. So this might even- Jack, Jack this is such a UF thing because oh, we, don't, we don't have this here in Europe. I know that because I lived in the US. I know that we have to bring the, the trash out. But we here we we can bring it anytime. There there's not a truck. We live it in a in a, a giant bean, oh, and then yeah. a truck comes and get that. <laughs> That's such an uh, that <laughs> such sounds, a US thing. A lot easier. <laughs> it's easier in some ways and harder in others. But but yeah, it does sound a lot less stressful. Uh, well, we we US people definitely need the take trash out recurring task. <laughs> um, and so for me, my trash day is every Friday. Uh, so actually today. Um, and so I set a weekly task for every Thursday night. We'll start with next Thursday, uh, at, uh, 9 PM to go ahead and take out the trash for, oops, I didn't set the, excuse me, the weekly schedule. So weekly, uh, Thursday, 9 PM, take the trash out. Uh, there you go. Uh, so I have that recurring task. Um, there's other schedules you can do as well. Okay. Water the plants. Um, some plants are thirstier than others, but I'll just give one example, which is, uh, uh, this lets you do kind of where this is an area where you need more of like a custom schedule. Uh, so it's not like a very simple weekly, weekly, daily type of task. In this case, I'll set a custom schedule of monthly, excuse me, weekly, uh, every, oh, that's four really interesting. Weeks. Uh, and it could be six weeks. So uh, you can choose yeah. multiple, multiple weekdays there. Yeah. And you can choose multiple weekdays. Wow. Uh, you probably wouldn't water your plants every, you know, weekly on Friday and Saturday. But uh, again, I think the key point is the flexibility. Whatever weekday you want, whatever interval you want, uh, you can pick a time that you want it to end if you want to, don't want to keep getting reminded Great. about it forever. Uh, and so you set that schedule and you're done. Um, and you see how it kind of shows you, okay, this is the schedule you got. The schedule in this one's a little more complicated. Um, but, uh, so you can see it and then again, do tomorrow, uh, uh, it's the first time I'm going to have to do this. And that's, you know, it's a, it's a fairly intricate schedule, but in the task kingdom here, it just shows you what the next due date. So you can focus on, okay, when's the next time I have to get this done. So two more quick examples. Uh, there are tasks like if you own your own business and you need to send out invoices to your clients. And that's typically something you would do uh, at the end of every month, but every month has a different number of days. Uh, so in this case, you can go in and say, okay, I want to do this at the end of the month on the last day of the month. I'm going to pick June 30th as the upcoming monthly, uh, oops, the, the soonest upcoming uh, monthly last day. And you can see here, I have the option to pick monthly on the last day. And then finally, uh, you can do annual schedules as well, uh, buying the birthday gift for a friend or family member. Go ahead and click in here and you've got an option to do uh, uh, an annual uh, task as well. So I'm going to set uh, an annual task to buy a birthday present. So um, that's how you set the schedule. So like I said, you've got a ton of different options uh, uh, for when you, you know, what kind of recurrent schedule you want. Um, because life's tasks often have so many different schedules that you need to set. So that's how yeah. that happens. Yeah, I guess I guess you you have everything covered, but I'm sure people will come up with some other <laughs> <laughs> schedules. Uh, as you would expect, these would show up on the due date tab. Uh, so all of the due dates here, which are just basically the next due date in the recurrent schedule, uh, will show up as your next due date in your due date tab as well one question what yeah. happens when what, what what happens to the task itself what, what happens to the next one what yeah. happens if you don't complete a task so again we try to keep it simple uh you know 
once you get the task done, the next thing you need to know is, okay, when's the next time I have to get done? So again, taking the trash out, okay, I'm going to do that on Thursdays at 9 p.m. Uh, when I'm organizing my week, I'm tracking what I have to get done. I just need to know that the next time I need to do this uh, is, uh, is the following Thursday, which is, which is June 16th. So when you mark uh, a recurring task complete, it automatically resets to the next, uh, uh, the next date in the sequence. Um, so it's, it's fairly simple, fair, you know, it's still the same task. It just, the due date kind of keeps progressing. Now that you show that, what happens if you do not complete, if you don't do that uh, task? Yes. Okay. So, um, and I can show that, but it might take a few clicks. Basically the same way that we don't complete a, a regular task and the, the deadline or the due date goes past it, this would turn red and it would just sort of say something like due yesterday at 10 PM. Uh, so, uh, uh, it would show as overdue. So and it's going to show just the next upcoming one. It will show. Yeah. It's a great question. It will always show, uh, the most recently missed one. Okay. So if I missed planning my one big thing three days in a row, uh, and it's Friday morning, it would still just show like do yesterday, uh, even though I had missed it, uh, for the prior two days. And we are thinking about a feature where you could literally see sort of like an audit trail or a history of when you got a, uh, a recurring task done or not. That's something that we, a request we've heard from folks. I think it's a very interesting request, could be valuable. Uh, and definitely something that's, that's we're going to investigate, might be on the to-do list, um, but not something we wanted to have, not something we necessarily felt like we had to have right out of the gate. So for now, it just shows the most recently overdue instance of the task. Okay, Jack, another complicated question situation here. What happens when you assign a task? Can you can you assign a do a recurring due date for that person? Yes, you can. So uh, you know, if I assign a task to you, why don't we just do an example real quick? Uh, uh, I can go ahead and assign sending out the invoice to um, I'm just gonna pick an email uh, and I'm gonna assign it to this person. Uh, uh, so this is assigned to uh, Mr. Spoleto here, uh, and he has the same due date that, I, that a task only has one due date. Okay, so the ta the 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 due date for uh, the assignee will always be the same due date as it is for the assigner. Uh, but yes, they would definitely when he opens his uh, his Evernote, he would see due due June thirtieth uh, on the notes tab. He would see due. Uh, June 30th uh, in his due date tab, and it would be the exact same due date for both of us. If he marks it complete, uh, it flips to uh, uh, the next month. Uh, so on my Evernote, it would show due July 31st, and on his Evernote, it would show due July 31st. So ma no matter which of us marks it complete. Oh, okay. That's what, that was my question. Exactly. So both of you can mark it as a complete? Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Hey, since we are... There, can you show the, 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 the task in the node? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I think it's a nice, a nice to see because we have that, that little arrow, the round arrow that shows yeah. the, the... You got it, yeah. And just like, just like with, uh, you know, regular, uh, uh, you know, regular notes, uh, non-task uh, content, you know, you can mix in all the, all the great things that you and I have talked about in the past, Vlad, about how you can kind of have your tasks, your tasks and your note content all mixed in together, which is helpful for giving your task content, or excuse me, context, still applies with recurring tasks. When we met the other time, you told me this was coming. I start thinking, how will they do it? Mm -hmm. And the first thing that came to my mind was a new task will be created below the one that already exists. And mm -hmm. of course, there, there are several other ways to do it. Mm -hmm. So can, can, you, can you tell us a little bit how yeah. how do you guys came up with this? Why, why is this? Why is it like this? There are plenty of other to do apps on the market uh, uh, that have been doing this for a long time. We studied all of them uh, uh, to try to follow kind of, I guess you could say, the best practices. And this is sort of we, where we shook out that it's a single task with multiple due dates. When you mark it complete, you see the next one. Uh, you have different options for the recurrence schedule. Uh, you know, we just thought it was the winning combination of the best way to have. Simplicity, you see one task, uh, you know, in your in your notes tab, in your due date tab. Uh, uh, 
Uh, and it's just, yeah, this, but still gives you all the flexibility to set the recurring schedule, recurrent schedule that you want. Now, let me ask you one thing that has nothing to do with recurring tasks, but it's something that I don't understand why it doesn't exist. So I'm going to let it here for, <laughs> publicly tell you. When we are on that that drawer, the the the, the task, can, can you click there and open the, the tasks, the tasks drawer? Absolutely. One thing that I don't understand, when you if you if you if you use the filter, try anything there, just just do something there. Why isn't there a way to save this as a saved search? <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't understand that. <laughs> it's, it's definitely on the list. I, 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 it's a great question. How would you use that? Actually, just just while I've not to put you on the spot, Vlad. Tell me how you would use that. We have so many different ways to deal with tasks. Yeah. It's hard to the, the examples you gave. It's like it's easy. It's mm -hmm. Very very different th situation, different yeah. things to do. But say you are in the same project and you want to just know. If person A or B uh, have have I don't yeah. know tests that they are they didn't complete, you you have to keep filtering yeah. it all the time. So if I could have a saved search for that, yeah. I would just click there. Or even better, if I could have a widget, I could just go to the widget and yeah. and, and and find that information on the widget. And one of the first things, to be honest with you, that I tried to do was save a search, <laughs> save oh, a, a, a no. <laughs> Well, back then, when you when 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 it was released, I said, "Wow, I can save several searches here and use this to to control everything. Create a, a panel here." Uh, <laughs> and like I you always you always do a great job of making me feel bad about myself. Uh, oh uh, no, these calls because they don't have the feature that you really need. I can't argue with you. I think uh, I think that would be a very powerful feature. Uh, it's definitely something that many of other many other folks have asked for. Uh, we've heard it and um, we're looking very closely at it for sure. Even inside the, the notes list, the regular notes list, when you go to the yeah. filter, if you could do that and save from there, wow, mm -hmm. that would be amazing because we, we could yeah. combine a lot of things there and, and just save there. I wouldn't I wouldn't even need to come here to the yeah. task drawer and 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 and, and check that the, the task. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. something I, I I never understood why it was not was not there. <laughs> One of the great things about Evernote. Uh, I use it for sure, uh, and I, I I think yeah I think it could apply to a task it could apply to tasks very very well. Is there anything that you thought that you can share with us for the future? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be kind of like annoyingly vague, but I'll give you I'll I will try to answer the question. <laughs> I would say so. You know, recurring tasks is an example of a big feature, like a big addition to the task uh, task product. Uh, uh, there will be other big things in the pipe. There are other big things in the pipeline, but I, I think we're also going to mix in some smaller enhancements, uh, uh, smaller features, smaller changes that kind of take the sand and the sand out of the gears uh, in using tasks day in day out. And I think uh, users will like them and appreciate them, and I think it'll make the the product the feature a little more pleasant to use. So I'm excited for those two big things and small things. Hope, hope to see you here soon showing us all that. <laughs> <laughs> always, always looking for this conversation. Thank you, Jack, for your time. Thank you. Enjoy Bye -bye. it. Bro. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.